my shit is out there. Smith, the whole building, watch the debris come down the street. Don't open the door, please. Get away from the windows. Yes. Don't open the door. Don't open the door. Get behind. Get behind. Oh my God. Get behind. Get behind. Oh my God. Look at the shadow of death. Oh my God. Oh my I remember looking up into the dust, and I remember thinking to myself, I'm the last person left on the planet. I don't hear anybody. I don't see anybody. I am completely alone. I am this huge feeling of being empty. As I'm looking around, there's cars that are destroyed. There was an ambulance on fire. I really thought this was it. This was the end. This was the end of the world. This was the Armageddon. So I remember grabbing a hose line that was laying on the floor, and I actually put out the fire in the ambulance. And the dust started to lift. I, I couldn't believe what I was actually seeing. Both buildings were gone. And now it's just seven-story pile of, of debris and garbage, and there were people in there. And I'm thinking to myself, there's no way that we're going to find people that survived this collapse. The collapse started from the top down. And every time a floor would hit another floor, collapse in what we call a pancake fashion, it would create a loud noise, a loud boom. So it was boom, 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 boom. And every time a floor would hit another floor, there'd be tremendous vibration in the building. Whatever air was in the stairway was being compressed, and it was filled with debris. So we were getting pummeled with debris and it was as we were covering up, and uh, we just waited for that big beam or that big piece of concrete to come and get us. And then the collapse stopped, and it didn't come. And uh, so, so I gave a, a shout out. I said, who's still here? Who, who do I hear? Who do I have? Turns out all my guys from Ladder 6, Tommy Falco, uh, Sal D'Agostino, uh, Billy Butler, and Mike Meldrum. You had uh, Mickey Cross was a lieutenant in Engine 16. I think it took about eight seconds for the building to come down. It was tremendous noise and tremendous roar, tremendous vibrating, and uh, 
Within a few seconds, it was over. And, and it went to total, absolute silence. No more shaking, absolutely no noise. Having no experience being dead, you don't know what it's like. So I thought I could possibly be dead because I couldn't feel, I couldn't feel my body, I couldn't feel anything. And after a few seconds, I heard talking. So uh, I yelled out and we all got together. It was the f between the third and, I think it was between the third and fourth floors was still intact. We were in a void. You know, it was the fact that Josephine stopped there. You know, there weren't many voids in that building. And we found a void. Because even if you made it to the ground floor, you didn't make it. If you made it just outside the building, you didn't make it. We looked around for a way out. A couple of guys had tools, and they were forcing what was left of the stairway door and they opened it and it was just a wall of debris. So we realized there wasn't a thing we could do. We're not getting out of this. There's no up, down to the side, no way. The only way we're gonna get out of it is somebody comes and, and gets us. 